at first it was just a Facebook name. I just made it a Facebook name. And LaFleur, because, you know, everybody in our city, our city, like, we just grew up on Gooch for real. Like, we heavy on the Gucci ATL vibe. So, you know, it's just like, I made my shit cook LaFleur. A lot of people liked it, so I just, I stuck with it. And I was the LaFleur. The cook, you came up with that. Yes, yeah, sir. The cook, I was already cook. I was already um, heartbreak cook, cookie. The oh. cook come from cookie. It was cookie at first. That's my childhood name. Ah, okay. Yeah. Where'd and you then, get that from? Uh, I've been rapping since I was younger, so I was in the studio with my pops, and he, uh, I, I just started rapping. I was like 14 or something when he asked me what did I want my rap name to be, and I told him, like, I was like, shit, uh, DJ Paul, I just heard that a rapper couldn't be named DJ. DJ Paul from 3-6 Mafia, so I'm like, well, shit, DJ Cookie Monster. I was just playing, but I always just be, I, I never really thought I'd start rapping anyway. So I was just playing and it, it just carried on. It was DJ Cookie and then everybody just called me Cookie and it just stuck. And I just took the DJ off the, mon the Cookie Monster and shit off and I just kept the cookie and it, it just, it resonated, so. Heartbreak Cookie though. Heartbreak Cookie, it was a group called Heartbreak. We had a group called Heartbreak. We used to be fucking shit up, man. It, it, was, it, was, it was more about fucking hoes for real, like. Heartbreak. It was. It was like a little, some little kid shit. <laughs> I see. Going by Cook Lafleur, though, did anybody ever think you were trying to emulate Gucci or trying to be like him? Did every and did anybody ever say, "Oh, you're biting him because you're using that Lafleur"? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Um, when I first came out on my mixtapes, uh, people in the comments used to be like, "Oh, why is, like Lafleur, Lafleur," but it's just like. Gucci is Gucci is such a, a like a, a pioneer and a, a legend in the game. It's sort of like it's not never like you're. It, it's it's no longer like you're. It's not like you're trying to emulate him. It's just like it's respect. It's like paying homage, like Lafleur. You know what I mean? It ain't no. It ain't. It ain't like that. So not biting. Nah, hell nah. I I, I don't I don't bite. It ain't no biting. And if he ever felt like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, cook, man, uh, don't take that, you know, I, he ain't never said nothing to me about it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Nobody never said to me nothing to me about it. And I'm around, the, I, I've been around the same mutual people that he'd be around. So, you know what I'm saying? It's never been that type of situation like you, that. You've met him? Um, I met him back when I was heartbreak, just doing like shows and stuff, messing with my homie Doc J and shit. We went, we, uh, we had a, we went to some CIAA shit and we didn't went to the club, same club as him before and shit like that. Um, we used to fuck with Coach K back in the day, and he out and he used to, back when Coach K was uh, managing Gucci, and we used to just be around Coach K and Coach K sometimes he'll bring us around Gucci. He'll bring he I remember one day he brought us to the um, to the the movie that him and Rocco was making that they just now released. They had been made that movie with Keisha uh, with his wife and things. When he had the twins in there and shit from Spring Breakers and shit, but yeah, um, I met him then. But I ain't never like met him like, yo, what's up? Like we ain't never talked. We just around. We just I just been around him. They never met him as Cook Lafleur. No, nah, met him nah. as Heartbreak Cook. Yeah, when I when I became Cook Lafleur, he was in jail. So, mm. yeah. When you actually first met him, what was that like? <laughs> um, first time ever meeting him. It wasn't like, it, I mean, it was just like, it wasn't, I was just around him. It wasn't like I really got to meet him. Like, yo, it was just like, yo, yo, this, this my, this my, this my little homie. What's up? That's it. You know what I mean? It ain't like we like, it wasn't like nothing. Like, if now if I meet him, it's going to really be like a meet. Like, what's going on? Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? But, you know. Sometimes when, because uh, you said he had a big influence of your city. Yeah, our, my whole city. Everybody in everybody in my school listened to Gucci. Everybody in the streets, everybody listened to Gucci. That's every when he when he was dropping all those tapes back to back, um, feel like cooking and all that. That's we, we was everybody was we was Gucci crazy. <laughs> Sometimes when people meet, and I use that loosely because you you were around them. Sometimes when people meet somebody or or around somebody, 
sometimes uh, a rapper that they like or look up to or inspired by, uh, sometimes they fit what you think that person's gonna be, mm -hmm. and sometimes it doesn't fit. Whatever reputation or et cetera, et cetera. Did he, just being around him, did he fit what you thought he was gonna be or? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's, yeah, like he wasn't anything different. He wasn't, he was the same Gucci he was on the, on the you know, in the music videos. Like, mm -hmm. it was the same one. He's smoking weed. He was doing music shit. Like, it was no different. I wasn't, like, you know, like, I didn't think about it like that. I was just there. <laughs> Being in the music industry, has, ever, has anyone ever said to you, hey, maybe you should take the Le Flair off and just... Did no. anyone ever say that would pose a problem? Or? No. 